Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to do the first steps with our boilerplate for Alokai. So uh, if you just go into GitHub, our GitHub, it's Urugap, of course, we changed the name to ERPGAP, uh, but um, so GitHub has still the same name. You'll see if we start from Docker project, which is the, um, the simplest way to run the app. And then you have start front UI, which is just the allocate side of things. So if you check the booster front Docker, you will see we are uh, creating a Redis instance, a Postgres database, a Udo server, and at the end, allocate old booster front. Uh, for the wireless plate, so you just need to clone it uh, in a folder. And you have here some instructions. So if you uh, get here, you will see we have the Docker file. I already built it, so I'm just going to start it. Start. Uh, not a, it's like up minus D in the background. So it's starting container VSF, right? So if I just go into localhost <coughs> 3000 you will see booster front coming up. Now the second step we'll do is start the booster front container. So I'll just do uh, Docker PS if you wish to see what is there. Now I'll just stop booster front VSF container. So now it's stopped. So this is uh, not publishing anymore. Okay. Now you go into, but well, the main thing is that you have Udo here, you have Redis, so you have these components and you don't need to set them up. They are already available for you. Now you go here where I cloned, start front UI boilerplate. Uh, as you'll see in the docs, you can copy env example to env. Now, of course, you need to change some stuff. So what I changed here was uh, these URLs here. I pointed it to the local host 8069. This is really an open source version of Voodoo, but you can also stop that container and, and Postgres and use your own uh, or use a dev server that you host somewhere. Uh, same here and here is where you're going to host your own Alokai. And that's it. Now, if you look into the documentation, you should use a command where you export also uh, the variables in the env. Uh, you should do yarn and then yarn build. And I've done that, not to waste time. Let's just move forward. And now if I do yarn start, uh, you will see it starts here. Uh, one important thing is that you might want to check logs, docker compose logs minus F, because the first time it runs, doc uh, Udo creates the instance and that can take a while. So you should check the log starts, stops to run in terms of creating the instance and you'll be ready to go. Uh, you can also inspect the log and see if uh, Booster if uh, Alokai is trying to get data, as you see here, images coming through, GraphQL also, so it's loading there. Now, if you want to use it for development, probably you will want to uh, stop and use Yarn Dev. So use Yarn Dev. So it's going to start and create some stuff here and the first time you go you will see it, it starts like this then you see the log wait a bit it's going to do some extra tasks it's a bit slow because when I'm sharing my screen together with uh, running uh, so many things like you have Udo, Redis, you have uh, the database and other things I have on my local it takes a bit more but after he does these steps, you will see uh, he will start. And then you can start changing some stuff on the components, on the files, and see what is coming through. 
it's it's taking a bit okay it took a while until you see nick next nitro server built right so this is a parameter we are using not to use https that's normal and if we go here you'll see uh, the same route working and now you can go with boost uh, with visual studio and for example change index file here i'll just put an xxx and save it okay server wheel uh, that's up here so it had an underscore let's refresh There you go, the XXX. Yeah, my laptop is a bit slow. But, well, this will get you started with uh, the boilerplate. You can start changing components according to your theme using Tailwind, uh, cascading style sheets, and, well, uh, do your first tests with uh, Alokai and Udo. That's all for now. Thanks for listening. See ya. Bye-bye.